Ciao Bella, welcome to Bella Uncinetto, I'm Christina and I'm so glad that you're here with me. If you're new, welcome in. If you're returning, welcome back. No matter how long you've been here, I always appreciate your time. Sorry if that makes you a little dizzy. I'm trying, when I hit record, I have to, um, it shakes for a little bit, so it will get still at some point, I hope, and we will move forward. So I have a temporary setup here. I'm glad that I'm able to get back to doing this with you all. Um, and I thought we would get into some hook reviews that I have been sorely lacking on, and I apologize for that. I thought that with this particular one, I could maybe uh, do it with the yarn that I've been dying to try. Um, Hopefully it doesn't put me off the hook or the yarn. I'm not sure how this is going to go, everyone. Um, I did recently do a another hook review on the Omi hooks, the Omi resin hooks. And um, definitely uh, something to note not to use bamboo. So I chose a different yarn here. This is the Drops Bell Unicolor. Uh, and it's the color number 12 and it is 53% cotton, 33% viscose, 14% linen. So I am hoping that the cotton and the linen will help uh, ease some of that viscose uh, and it glides over the hook but it doesn't fall off the hook, right? So we'll see. It says to use a four millimeter uh, needle or hook and today I have a 5.5 uh, millimeter hook. You can see that. Nope, it's focusing on that. Yep, 5.5 millimeter hook and a 5.5 millimeter hook. Uh, they're a little bit different uh, in uh, the style, uh, but they are both a divot shilp hook. So this one uh, came with this hook, which is called Coffee. And this one is actually the partner to the one that I gave away. This is the Cookies and Cream uh, divot shilp hook. So uh, this one did not come with a box. It just came in a plastic bag. This one came in, in this box, but they're both uh, divot shelf hooks. So without further ado, I'm gonna make my slip knot here. And uh, if you do not know how to make a slip knot, if you've never made one before, uh, I definitely have a tutorial on how to do that, which I can link below. So, uh, I hope everyone is having a good day. I am tired. I worked all day and now I am doing this with you all. I'm happy to be doing this with you all. I'm just tired from my day. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So in my last hook review, I didn't, I made it kind of small. So I'm gonna make this one a little bit bigger and see how that goes. So I'm gonna start off with a half double crochet instead of a single. Already splitting on me. Come on, linen. Don't do this to me. Usually linen yarn is pretty splitty. So, and the foundation chain is always awkward. I had thought about doing a foundation, like, row, but I've never used this yarn before, so I wanted to kind of do it the basic foundation chain and then back to see how that would work. So these hooks are both the same size, obviously, I already showed you that, but they are different in style 
uh, for the handle. Like this one has, this coffee one has all of the knobbly bits on it and at the end. And then the other one, the cookies and cream, is a more streamlined uh, kind of hook. So, not having a ton of problems other than right at the beginning with the splitting. We'll see. Oh, nope, that one definitely. I put my hook in the wrong spot. Let's try that one again. Okay. And I knew that one split when I came through the first time. I did the original chain. So. I was ready for that one. double crochets. Let me turn here. Not too bad with this. I, I am finding that I feel a little far away and I think I'm just learning right that it is this particular style of hook the way that it's made. I did have a similar problem with another hook. Uh, in another hook review because it was just so far away. Because I am a tight crocheter, so I like to have a lot of control over the hook and be very, very close to the top of the hook. And with these kinds of hooks, I don't feel like I am able to be as close as I would like to be. Now I am not, after that initial foundation row, finding a lot of trouble with splitting, but watch as soon as I say that, it's going to split again. I hope that you guys can see okay. Um, let me turn that and maybe it'll focus on my hands a little bit more. I don't know how to turn that where it's not. Let me move it off frame because it's really focusing on that drop spell. Maybe it'll focus on my hands a little bit more now. Sorry if that was frustrating for you. And I'm trying to hold it close to the camera so you can see what's going on. I know the lighting changed a little bit with the doors I don't have a way to keep them open there used to be a little clip there that would hold the door closed but I'm waiting on my landlord to get a different one and that particular door the gate on the door is broken as well uh, well not broken so much as rusted shut so it only opens so far so typically if the little clip is not there the gate is designed to be heavy enough to hold the door closed uh, or hold it open uh, in case of wind, but with the door being rusted uh, to where it won't open all the way, I can't use the door and there's no clip. So I open the door to get the sunshine because electricity is rather expensive and then when it the wind blows, it slams it closed. So, there we are. So there is that one. And so now, I'm going to switch to the other hook here. This one, same size, but different style. All right, and we are going to check it out and see what it does. Chain one. Alright, so this was the first one, a little messy, and I'm just going to go back to half double crochet and see how that works. I definitely, if I'm going to do 
to this um, yarn, I would probably use a lacier stitch to give it some drape because this is going to make it very, very stiff. Just even this size hook. I don't know if you can see that. It's going to make it very, very stiff. I'm going to pause and open the door and see if that makes any difference. Okay, it's definitely brighter in here now. Uh, we'll see how long that lasts. All right, but I would definitely use, I'm sorry, now it's wiggly. Oy. All right, let me move this one off to the side. I definitely would use a lacier stitch because the linen is going to be very, very tight. And because I've never used this yarn before, I also want to see how it's going to frog. So we'll try that as well. I definitely am feeling a little tension with this yarn and these kinds of hooks. It is toothy enough that it is not uh, just sliding right off the hook like a bamboo would. Yep, there goes the door. I'm sorry, you guys. If that bothers you, I am so, so sorry. <sighs> but it is just, I'm worried. I'm worried about it splitting. So like I'm hesitant with my stitches, I guess you could say. All right, so now I'm going to do a double crochet with this hook. And we'll see how that goes. I know that I did not start a foundation uh, chain with this particular hook, so uh, it might be a little different um, because you know, I'm not going to have the awkwardness of that foundation uh, row, but because I had already done the other hook review, I thought, I know that this one in my head might give me a little bit more trouble. So if it's going to give me trouble, I want to see how much trouble it's going to give me. So that's why I started with the uh, brown, the coffee one to do the foundation row because if it's gonna be troublesome, I might as well see how troublesome it's gonna be. And I am so sorry if it's in and out of focus, you guys. I will rewatch these and we might just be doing this all over again. And that would be unfortunate because you won't get my honest opinion here. And I hope and I don't have to do that. Again, I do feel more comfortable with this one. Uh, but I am a little bit worried with the yarn as far as splitting is concerned. So I'm going to do one more row with this. And you can see there. Let's see if we do a double single skip double single skip double and I am holding it off the board, the table, but you can still see, I think, one, I think it's a little bit more natural for me to hold it up as it is most of us because we hold our work close to us so we can see it, but also it kind of gives you an idea of the stitches as I'm going along. So you can kind of see that 
as I go through. Because anyone who's doing a hook review uh, will tell you that they are a little bit more difficult because you are trying to crochet flat and you are trying to crochet in frame. That's supposed to be a single. And it is harder because you want to hold your work way up here close to you so you can see it. And that's not how it typically works in a <laughs> hook review. Right? Because, or a yarn review, because you want it to be... I'm just going to put a single in there for the sake of finishing it off. All right, so there is that. The yarn looks like this. I did not feel like it was rough. I did not feel like it was a pain. I would wear this in a top against my skin. All right, now let's frog it and see what happens. Sometimes that linen can be a little tricky. Let's get all the way down. <laughs> Here we go. And we're done. So uh, I'm gonna wind this back up and put these two hooks here so that you can see them. Um, all together, uh, I would probably prefer the cookies and cream, the white and black one, to the brown one, the coffee one, uh, because I am just not about that style of hook. Um, so, with that being said, if you've made it all the way to the end of this video, and you would like to enter for a chance to win this coffee 5.5 millimeter divot shilp hook it will come in this box that it came in you can tell that this is the one because it says coffee on it uh, so this is the box for this hook I will pack it up and ship it to you so uh, this video will air on Saturday, the 29th of April. So I will give you until Saturday, May 5th uh, to enter. And the keyword is coffee. So if you would like to enter to win this, put coffee in the comments. Uh, please do not mention anything about a giveaway. It will not be mentioned in the video at all, uh, but it will be here at the end. So I hope that you've enjoyed it. I hope that I've been helpful. Um, the yarn itself, the drops bell, right? I would definitely recommend this. I found this uh, at Wool Warehouse. If you're interested in that, I did... Um, a yarn haul where I got it um, with a gift certificate so I have that uh, as well but I definitely know that I'm gonna be giving this one away because I'm not gonna use it this one on the other hand will join my hook collection so with that I bid you adieu farewell ciao arrivederci all of those good things and as always be the change you wish to see in the world, everyone. Ciao.